Hi, hi, John Wright here from Logo Punch. I thought I'd do a series I'd call uh, Look Over My Shoulder. We'll find a few simple designs to digitise and um, just follow the procedure. Um, okay, so I'm looking at our workflow database here. I'll pick on this job down here. Got a few instructions about what we need to do. Attach. Da, 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 da. Okay. Let's have a look at the attachments. Okay. So we'll create the file. Now I'm using ES Studio Level 3, so uh, there may be a few things in this level of the software that aren't in the lower levels, but I'll describe those as I come to them. So uh, now just insert that image. Okay. Now look at the size of it. We're down here at 33.08. Now I mean is if I measure the eight, that's five point two five. We'll probably not get away with that. They didn't give me any instructions on size <coughs> size, so I just use my edit transform tool um, and make that living six mil and uh, seven mil. It'll give it a bit of a chance of working. So edit transform will allow me to uh, resize the whole thing proportionally. So now with the um, shortcut key K, I'll lock the image in place and you can see it's locked there. So, I'll just measure again. We're 6.99. <coughs> We're nearly on the limit of, of our satin stitch, but probably will still work. So we'll do a satin stitch and we'll quickly do it as an input C as well after it. So, select a close enough colour. We've got satin stitch selected. I'll select my underlay. You don't have to do this underlay selection early. Um, you can come back and change it later. Now I'm going to put two levels of underlay under here. <coughs> Actually I'll do the zigzag second and just do a um, on each one first. Okay so left click, left click. I do the first two clicks fairly close together to close the end of the, the satin stitch off. We don't want a big wide opening at the beginning of it. So just left and uh, right clicking on either side of the column, so it's the first side, second side, first side, second side, first side, second side. Okay. I'm not going to do the little dot at the bottom, it'll be two stitches. Uh, you won't see it, it'll just cause you a bit of trouble. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now we'll go to our font tool. Now that looks a little bit like. Um, familiar to me, we might, might be chiller, which I haven't got here, we'll have to digitise it, but uh, just looking, looking here uh, if you see a few extra fonts here, there, some that we've digitised and are available on our, our web page if you need them which is www.logopunch.com um, Look, I just can't think of that font, so what we'll do is just digitise that very quickly. So B for bigger, or zoom box. Uh, select my tool, select my colour, and let's go back and change that <coughs> underlay back to a centre run. So we'll do a centre run here, and turn the second underlay off and away we go so left click left click right right so right clicks and finish off with two lefts right right click now I've got a great little tool here in ES Studio level 3 it's called the branching tool so I, I digitised this part of the H first because I want it to tuck under the vertical piece. Um, my branching tool is this little fellow up here, or uh, well the shortcut for it is H, and you simply uh, is I, I should say. The shortcut for that is up the letter I. So if you look down here, it's saying in, entry point. So I want the letter to start here and finish there, but it will stitch it so it appears this part happens first. I'll just do a quick redraw to show you that. Shift R. Shift R for redraw. Oh, 
a bit quick we'll slow it down so let's just pause it there that was a bit quick sorry okay we'll do it again so I've got auto scroll on so it's jumping around the screen if I didn't have auto scroll on I would, you would just see this bit and the screen wouldn't scroll to where it's actually working I should have turned the image off here I'll do that later just as we're finishing the design so now I'll just slow it down and you can see it'll start the edge where we asked down at the bottom and it'll do a little tie in here so it'll appear that this part of the H is digitized. So it's a great tool. Uh, when your budget allows, go get it. Okay. So we're just right clicking around the shape of the ampersand sign. If it's a not quite where you want it, the nodes that is, if they're not quite shaped you can come back and just pick them up and move them out. Let's put a little bit of extra width on here. I don't want to close this gaps in. Okay. Yeah. Pull that out. I think I'm pretty happy with that. And the S, so let's zoom in again tool still selected and just right click around the shape of the X now I'm the S I'm going outside the bitmap here to try and make the column or to make the column wider um, we will put some full compensation on but uh, the lettering is fairly small okay so I'll turn my drawing off the letter D does that move to the beginning of the design and I'll move through by machine function to show where the thread trims are that shouldn't be there and uh, there aren't any but what I can do here, I'll cheat a little we'll just grab this ampersand and move it closer move the S closer and we'll grab all of the lettering make it occupy the same area in the design just sneak it up a little bit not exactly how the artwork was but I think the customer will be a lot happier because the, the lettering will stand out so that's about it um, I'll add lettering underneath as per our instructions in a later video. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something. Again this is uh, level 3 and the little tool that you may not have that I use is branching. Thanks, I hope you come back again. Bye.